Hey Sagittarius, it's Goddess Puff and this is your next 48 hours for May 5th to the 6th of 2023. <clears throat> Alright, let's get started with an oracle card message for Sagittarius. Next 48 hours for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know? I'm seeing someone, I'm seeing someone on a desktop. I'm seeing black keys, like someone's typing. And I see someone eating something while they're typing. I don't know if it's popcorn or a snack or whatever. Someone's heavily into something they're typing. Otter dexterity. Look at his hand. <laughs> Someone's intense. Dragon emergence. I don't know if you do any type of coding or analytics or something like that. Stag premonition. I feel like you're trying to hurry up and get something done before time runs out. I feel like what you don't realize is, you could be trying to make sure it's done or it's perfect, but it is. What you're doing is done and it's perfect. I mean, you can reread and overlook it and make sure it's good, but I feel like your work is, is good. Overall energy is mouse advantage. So you have that advantage of being analytical or you get something done ahead of time or something like that. Whatever you're working on, typing up, it's good. Your work has drastically improved as well. With stag premonition, that's like foresight. I'm also getting promotion with that. Whatever that means for you, a definite level up. Your work has improved, like I said. Even if you are doing the rough draft, I feel like whoever is reviewing your work feels like you've been working on this for months or years. It looks like you had other people look over it and even if they haven't it looks like you had other people spell check it and rewrite it and everything it looks like you've done the work even if you did it at the last minute but i feel like you did do the research though also i feel like you have foresight to know that a date or time is changing and so you're getting something done ahead of time because you just feel the need to hurry up and get up and get something done and then you turn it in and realize that the date did change and it's due a lot sooner than you thought I feel like you just have a feeling. Oh, this is the fire. Like this fire sign started itching on my finger. This is the fire sign. There you are, Sagittarius. Yeah, so trust your instincts. I was about to pull from this deck. Trust your instincts in the next 48 hours about something. If you feel the need to get up and do something or get it done or to go up to some type of building or something somewhere because you feel like a date or time or something has changed, you're probably right. Or you feel it needs to double check something. Some type of intuition or premonition is giving you the advantage to get something done. All right, let's get into the tarot for that serious. I'm seeing a puzzle. You could be doing a puzzle. Ace of Swords, the truth. Knight of Wands. Sun card. Yeah, I feel like you have the creative freedom or time. You have more flexibility, freedom, or time than others. So time is your advantage. Your freedom is your advantage. Is that the essence? Your freedom. Time is of the essence, is what I wanted to say. The Hermit card, Virgo energy. And that's that analytical part I was getting. You don't have to have Virgo in your chart. I just feel like you possess that type of energy. There's Leo here as well. Overall, just the Eight of Swords. Yeah, because that's just naturally who you are anyway. You reread stuff. You, over, you read over things and look over and over and over it again. So when you go through it one time, you've already double and triple checked. That's why your rough draft looks like a final draft. Cause you just naturally do that anyway because you do your research hermit energy with the sun i feel like you could also just be getting out more getting some sun i see someone going to the library you're getting out the house to get these resources with stag premonition sun emergence okay yeah i see someone getting out of the house or you leave <laughs> you leave a place before someone gets there or before someone gets home maybe you're sneaking in to see a friend or something or see someone and you leave before somebody gets home. I'm not seeing cheating or anything like that. I'm just seeing like you're having fun.
Yeah, I see you hanging out with a Virgo. It doesn't have to be a Virgo, but I'm seeing this person, this hermit, they're at home and you sneak into their window to hang out with them and or you're leaving. Like the the perspective, please bear with me. <laughs> it's metaphoric. The person is sitting there in their house and you're about to leave. You're like, all right, I'm out of here. I'll see you later. <laughs> but I see it like a, it's a friend thing though. It's nothing messy. I'm not seeing nothing messy. You could be giving this person creative inspiration or they're doing this for you. This person could also be the one revising or looking over your work. Maybe you know this person likes to um, be analytical and you're giving them this work, this paper to look over it for you. I feel like this is a good friend They'll, or you're just getting fresh eyes. This is someone who you can go to for like that type of work to proofread something. All right, take it as it resonates because you know this person will be honest with you or this person's coming to you for that honesty, that clarity. Clarify this for Sagittarius because I feel like you need fresh eyes on something or you've been overthinking something. You need either need someone to double check it or you're helping someone do this. I'm getting nice companionship from this person. Or they could be a librarian or like and like one or something like that. Clarifying these swords is the Empress, Libra and Taurus energy. This could be in regards to a Libra Taurus or mother figure or pregnancy. Take it as it resonates. The sun is here twice, so Leo energy could be involved. I feel like clarity about a true outer dexterity from a mother figure, about a mother figure, or about a, preg a pregnancy. Put it where it goes. Clarifying the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Cups. Two of Cups. For some of you, it could be in regards to a one night stand. Someone's finding out that they're pregnant. Oh, okay. So for some of you, maybe you did sleep with a friend or you're realizing you have romantic feelings for a friend or it was a one night stand thing. I don't feel like there's any bitterness or any strings attached to that situation, but someone's realizing they're pregnant. Now, it doesn't have to be an actual pregnancy. This could be an idea, birthing of an idea. I feel like this is a good team. And if it's not another person involved, this is just you and you. But yeah, it's like that creativity, Knight of Wands and freedom, that creative freedom meets Knight of Cups, compassion, love, and inspiration. So it's a good balance, the Two of Cups with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands. That's freedom, fire, passion, and empathy and love. That's a, that's a good mix there. Very good mix that you have, a good mix of energy. Clarifying the sun is the page of cups. Yes, inspiration and intuition. Ten of Wands, a heavy burden is put to rest. So you free yourself from a situation or you're realizing you have the freedom to do something. So you could also be um, flipping your idea of how you see something. So maybe you work from home and you have kids, but you're realizing that you have a lot more freedom than most because you don't have to have a babysitter. Or maybe you're deciding to get one so that you can have freedom, but you're, you're flipping the way you see your situation. You're seeing yourself as more free. But if a pregnancy or kids are not involved whatsoever, you're just realizing your freedom in a situation, your creative freedom, and it's bringing you some, you're birthing an idea. Clarifying the Hermit is the Four of Swords. Page of Pentacles out. I feel like you felt confined or someone felt confined or constrained. Yeah, Eight of Swords, Four of Swords. But instead of overthinking, you're giving yourself a rest giving your eyes a rest. You may need to get some blue light blocking glasses if you stare at screens often, straining your eyes, stressing you out. Fix your posture too, because your neck might just be hunched over, staring at a screen. Ten of Cups, overall energy. So this is to do with family, like family planning for some of you. Maybe you're deciding who you want to have a kid with or if you want to have kids. I just get the sense, now bear with me, because of course it's not going to, kids are not always involved. Take it as it resonates. I feel like some of you, this is just an unlikely pair, an unlikely match, a surprise match here. It's like, I get this hermit energy. This is a recluse or someone who keeps to themselves. 
And then here comes you, Sagittarius, fiery. And I feel like you guys are you guys are good friends. And out of nowhere, some chemistry sparks. Some emotions get involved. And you decide, oh, okay, cool. And then you both decide to have a family together or something. But it doesn't feel restricting with this person. You don't feel restricted. You still feel free and fun. And this person has no problem giving that to you. They are unbothered. Could be a Leo Virgo cusp. And with the four swords and the page of pentacles, I feel like someone's resting, taking their time. Or someone could just need time with stag, premonition. Yeah, so someone, okay, so you could be deciding not to have sex with someone. Someone here is deciding not to because they want to take their time with something. Or move slowly with something. Someone's curating something. And this could be just you and you with the hermit energy inside curating something or resting something or putting a pause on something. Because you're taking your time with it or you don't want something to interfere with your work. This is an unlikely love reading, an unlikely love offer. It comes out of nowhere, very unexpected. But if it's not love or it's not a pregnancy, it's an idea that comes from an unlikely source. There, this is very interesting. Let me pull from this deck and this one. Let's see if I can get more on this. I'm serious. You're definitely coming up with an amazing idea. But there's definitely some love involved as well. And I feel like it catches you off guard. <laughs> it catches someone off guard here. Very unintentional. <laughs> yeah, nice intention conflict resolution. So you could be giving someone an apology. Someone could be giving you an apology. Yeah, with that Ace of Swords, the truth about a pregnancy or about a mother or about an idea or an apology or something. But hope, ignorance, revelation with the sun card. The sun is here twice. Cat, the untamed self-ownership watching. Yeah, I feel like someone here is realizing that either, because with that hermit card energy clarified by the four swords, that's like a blocking energy. That's like someone wants to take it slow, take their time, or they don't want to be tied down, or they don't want a relationship, or they don't want children or something. So you don't feel tied down by this person. And that's why you feel attracted to them. Because they don't tie you down. They don't feel weighed down or something like that. Or you're realizing that your situation or your circumstances are not a blockage or not tying you down. You feel free. And then volcano, patience, repression, lust. Yeah, it comes out of nowhere. These feelings, this interaction, this, this comes out of nowhere for you. Whether it's an idea, emotions, or all. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pull from this deck for Sagittarius. I'm sorry that I can't get into the specifics because this is this is a lot. <laughs> but I'm gonna read with the um what these cards mean after I pull for Sagittarius. I wish I could have got more specific on this. All right. Oh, over energy's deception. Okay. So be mindful of someone coming back from the past. I I feel like this is an in and out night wands. This is an in and out energy, a very temporary energy. I feel like this isn't, a kid could come from this. So be careful. Because I don't see, like, I, I see a family starting. Someone realizing they're being breadcrumbed as well. Don't let your lust deceive you as well. We have anxiety. Yeah, crush. There is a crush here. Yeah, the Eight of Swords, anxiety. So someone's worried about a pregnancy. Ten of Wands. Ooh, child. Stay. September, witch. This is like manifestation, manipulation, romance. Twitch, that could be an app, an eight. September 8th. 
could be this person's date or birthday or something. It's a significant day. I'm going to just say this. If you don't want kids, don't do it. Because I feel like this would be a short-term summer fling. Because that's a Knight of Wands energy. It could be a short-term romance, crush. You could be worried about pregnancy or something. Or you wanting to take things slow. Do that. But this is unlikely romance. And it could lead to children if you're not careful. Because this is going to come out of nowhere. You're not even feeling this until it happens. And then it's, the, it's like a heat of the moment type of energy. Is what I'm getting from this. All right, you focused on work, you're doing something. You could be um, overly looking up like symptoms of pregnancy as well. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to read the um, stag premonition. Sorry if this reading was all over the place. All right, stag premonition. Remain calm in difficult situations. Be mindful of feelings and how they affect you. Trust your intuition. You can face any challenges or problems. Choose peace and kindness. A new lover surrounds you. Don't ignore the signs. Don't ignore the signs. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. There's a crush here. There is romance here. There's someone new. There's a love offer here. There's also someone from the past as well. Be mindful though, because these emotions about to catch you out of nowhere. Y'all just working and vibing, then boom. Okay? This is about to catch you off guard. Because I was feeling like my stomach, like butterflies in my stomach or something. Mouse. I feel like this is someone new. Or this is a friend. I don't think this is someone you've dated before, but I do see someone from your past coming back. I feel like there's a temporary energy here and there's a new love here. So just be mindful and take it slow. Or do you. I'm just saying, with the Page of Pentacles, I feel like you should take it slow. Have fun, but, you know, be mindful because I feel like there is someone who's rushing in and out who wants to do things quick and you may end up pregnant and then there's someone who wants to take things slow. So be careful of deception or deceiving yourself or someone who's lying to you saying they don't, acting like they ain't got feelings when they really do. Because it's romance and sex and lust all up in this reading. All right, mouse advantage. Your words and actions are being closely observed. That's what I was getting. Someone's being very analytical. Someone's checking to see if you like them. Promotion is probable. Double check everything. Getting things just right really does matter at this time. Do nothing in secret for in time, these things too will see the light and it will be to your disadvantage. So for that person who's being deceptive, it is going to come out. And if you lie about having a crush on someone, they're about to find out because you're not going to be able to hide it for long. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.